Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This is your boy Tay. Back at y'all again, man, with another video. I appreciate you guys, man. As always, make sure you hit that like button and also hit that bell if you haven't subscribed already. That way you don't miss a video, man. I greatly appreciate you. Hey, so today I want to speak on day 60. Okay, guys, you know, if you haven't seen my past videos, I talk about day 7, I think day 14, and day 30. So go ahead and check those out if you haven't already, man. But for today, we're going to talk about day 60, all right? Um, and before we start this video, before I speak on the benefits and all that, I just want to say, guys, don't take your journey so seriously. You know, some of you guys become worshipers of this essence, and you don't want to do that. Take this journey as a learning lesson for you to not only discipline yourself, but to break addictions, break bad habits. That's really what it's meant for. And I know a lot of you guys got on this journey for that same reason. You're tired of exercising your bad habits because it's putting you in a loophole of a bad routine. And you want to break out of that. And I understand that, but... Don't let this journey, don't let the days get to you to the point where now you're in another addiction. Because it can get addictive counting the days and seeing how long you can go. Don't let that rule your life. Have fun with your life. Don't beat yourself up if you make a mistake. It's a learning process, okay? You know, you're not losing everything if you relapse, okay? That's a learning lesson. You learn from that and you get back up. But don't let it rule your life, man, because it can make you miserable. It can make you depressed. And that's that defeats the whole purpose of us doing this journey. So with all that being said, what are the benefits of day 60? What happens to you? What are you going to notice? And I can only speak from my experience, guys. You know, it's going to vary from person to person. So you might not experience these things right at day 60. You might experience it before. But just from what I noticed, one thing that happens is... You gain a little bit of charisma. You know, conversations with people become a lot easier for you. You're not forcing it. And when you know when you're out at the grocery store or you out just in public and you might see somebody that you know, usually you try to duck and dodge that person because you don't want to have a conversation. But you'll notice that you don't fear social contact. You know, you're happy to have a conversation and your words just flow. It's like they're just at the tip of your tongue. You don't got to think too hard to, to find something to say. You just know what to say and you're very witty. Right? Your conversations become more meaningful too. Meaning you're not just talking about gibberish. You actually have intelligence with your conversation. And this is why I tell you guys, when it comes to the women, you know, you're not just focused on the cheeks now. You're actually trying to pick her brain and see what she's like. And this is a big difference in somebody who's not on this journey from somebody who is. You're not thinking with your little mans, but you're actually thinking. And this is going to make you more attractive. Okay? Conversation is very attractive to women. So your conversations will flow a lot smoother. You go into the gym. You might talk to the lady at the front desk. You know, and it just seems like people are happy to greet you. People will respect you more as well. You're happy to, to make conversation with people. It doesn't seem forced. And people are happy to greet you. People conversate with you. They respect you more. You'll notice some of the same benefits from day 30 and, and before, but they're amplified now. Okay? Your, your, your benefits always get amplified to another level. You might not notice it because you're living it. But trust me, it's amplified. All right? So this is why people respect you more. They just feel your energy. You're on a higher vibration every single day. Even in your lowest moments, you're still in a high vibration. Okay, so understand that. People will gravitate towards you and they just happy around you, man. They just want to feel your energy. That's real. You know, I'm not making this up. Okay? One big thing about this, this day, this milestone, is the flat line. This is where a lot of guys start to experience the flat line between day 30 and day 60. Okay, and I want you guys to understand a flat line is not only you reprogramming yourself, right? Your 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 lower nature, your your chakras are healing themselves. But your mind is healing itself because you're not pleasuring yourself so much. You're trying to break an addiction. Okay, so it's going to be painful sometimes. 
But you also got to understand a flat line comes from your energy building up and it gets clogged up. So you have to learn to transmute, 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 transmute. Okay, that should be the word for the day is transmute. You guys got to learn how to do that. That is going to help you so much on your journey and not just your journey, but life period. You got to know how to transform your energy into something that you can use to be productive in your day. And if you don't do that, it's going to sit stagnant. And we don't we don't like stagnant energy. The universe doesn't like stagnant energy. Okay? Meditation is one of the best things you can do around this time. We're really every day of this journey. It's the best thing you can do. Because it's going to help you to bring that energy up. Get it moving. Okay? You got to get the energy moving. It gets stuck in your sacral chakra. Okay, and this is why a lot of guys experience flatline, low libido, and all these things. One way to fight the flatline is to work out your perineum muscle. Okay, that's that's the, the muscle that you squeeze when you go to the bathroom to stop the flow. Okay? And you want to work out this muscle to strengthen yourself down there. When you go to the gym, when you're doing exercises like squats and things like that, make sure you squeeze that perineum muscle. Okay, so you can strengthen it. You also want to work on your hip mobility and your legs, your flexibility. That's going to help the, the blood flow, you know, a lot cleaner, a lot easier. But it's also strengthening your muscles down there. That's going to help that blood carry that energy upward. Okay? All the energy flows upward. So you want to strengthen those muscles. And when you do this, guys, you're going to see yourself not really having too many flat lines anymore. Also, maca root and ashwagandha is really good for your libido and your energy. These are herbs that, that take care of that specific area. They make sure it's healthy and make sure it has everything it needs. So you want to get these herbs if you don't already. Okay, they'll do wonders for you. Don't get too caught up on nocturnal emissions. You know, you losing your energy at night. You don't have no control over that. And that's a natural process. You notice when you release your energy a lot, you don't have those. It's only when you, you're filled up and you have a lot of energy. Okay? So let, let that process happen naturally. A lot of times it's just prostate juices. Right? That's, that's, that needs to be pushed out. Your body's cleansing itself. But you'll notice you don't lose that much energy during that as opposed to an actual relapse. Okay? Because you're not really losing anything. Remember as kids, when, when you was a kid first going through puberty, you had nocturnal emissions. Okay? And I know as a kid... All of us, we was pure, as far as I know. You know what I'm saying? So, don't let this defeat you. It, it's a natural process that you have to go through. Your body has to go through. Another benefit you will notice is more focus. You can recall your memory a lot easier. Um, things that were hard for you, certain tasks that was hard and difficult for you become a lot easier. You know, I said before, you get a lot wittier. Even when you're trying to learn new skills, you learn very fast. Okay, this is because your mind is starting to get its power back. You got to understand when you release your energy, you lose a lot of brain power. A lot of that energy is coming from your mind and it shoots out. Okay, so you all scrambled up up here. It's just like you got the Xbox or the PlayStation on and then all of a sudden you just unplug it. What happens? You got to reboot the game. You got to reboot it up. It has to load all the data back in. Okay, and this is what happens to you. You lose a lot of data and information when you release. So your body has to reboot all that up. This is why it takes so many days to regain your energy. Okay, so the same thing with the game system, man. You don't want to just be unplugging yourself like that and letting yourself loose. Okay, you want to bottle that energy in and learn how to use it as a tool. But like I said before, guys, don't let this journey take over your life. Because that's not what it's meant to do. It's meant to be a tool for you to use. Okay? For you to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Alright? Remember, you are you. No matter what happens in life, you are always you. The power is within you. And we don't want to get hung up on things, attached to things, and think that it's, it's the only way we can become better. Don't get attached to SR. Okay, it's just a tool. Use that tool to regain self-confidence, self-awareness, self-love. You will have a better outlook. 
with your energy being so high, you being on a high vibration, you become more attractive. Like I said, as you, as as the days go by, you become more and more attractive. Okay, the, the energy amplifies. Your benefits amplify. So you got to understand this. Don't get cocky. This is around that time where people start to get cocky. And you start to feel yourself too much because the energy feeling good. You know, but you got to stay disciplined with yourself. All right. I know a lot of you guys say it gets hard and the urges get more intense. But that's a good thing. You having urges means that your energy is coming back. Okay, that's all you're feeling is your own energy. When you were releasing a lot, your energy was so low, so you didn't have those crazy urges because your, your body had to rebuild that up. Now that you're feeling those urges, that means your body is healing itself. Your root chakra, your sacral chakra is healing itself, okay? And that's a natural response. That's a natural feeling. So I want you guys to understand that everything about this journey is natural. Okay, don't think that urges are bad. Don't think that you liking the cheeks is bad. It's not. You're a man. That's natural. You learn to control it, though. Learn to discipline yourself. Just because you see a, a, a fine, you know what I'm saying, young tenderloin walking down the street, man, that don't mean you got to lose control of yourself. Right? And it's more attractive as a man to a woman to be in control. Right? Be grounded. And not be so desperate. All right, you drooling over the cheeks, man, makes you look desperate. So if you're on day 60, man, I hope this resonated with you. You know, if you're getting close to that milestone, hey, this is some of the things you got to look forward to. So stay strong on your journey, okay? We're going to 90 days, remember. It takes 90 days for you to fully reboot yourself and, and experience the full benefits of this journey, okay? And honestly, it never stops, but... Congratulations, man. If you made it this far, that means you almost there. You feel me? So keep going, man. Stay persistent. Stay steadfast. Hey, with that being said, if you need a consultation, I'll leave a link in the description. If you want to donate to the channel, I have a link in my pinned comments and in my description as well. Y'all have a beautiful day, man. And I'm out. Peace.